and welcome to today's market update with me mike smith a senior analyst at go markets it's friday the 19th of august and let's see what's coming across the news today of course overnight u.s equities were slightly positive as markets look to grind out small gains for the week however u.s futures are mildly down in asian session and the asian indices are mixed with a little bit of caution compared to the enthusiasm we've seen really over the last couple of weeks we've got the Kospi and the Shanghai index to the downside uh, but the ASX is up around 0.2% in early trading but dropping throughout the session to just above neutral and European futures are suggesting a slightly lower open at this stage. The US dollar index broke out of its short term range yesterday to the upside after bond yields rose. It is slightly positive in Asia at this stage and gold has broken. As a result, its short-term support at 17.65 and has moved down again today in Asia. Oil is trading in a short-term range between its six-month lows and that $100. And copper has edged above that key 360 level we've been referencing all week. Uh, the VIX has bounced a little bit off that six-month low but still remains at a low level compared to where we've been over the last few months of course. Bitcoin is weaker today and moving towards the bottom of its short term range edging towards 22,500 at this stage and on the data front not a massive day but we have had some Japanese CPI hotter than expected come across the wires already. We've got German PPI and UK retail sales coming out of Europe this afternoon not a great deal to move market sentiment so there may be just a little bit of end of week repositioning couple of charts to have a look at uh, we'll start with the Canadian dollar yen you can see we've been pushing up against this 10507 level uh, for quite some time now really since the back end of July are we going to break it today well it looked as though we were in early trading in Asia uh, but we've just pulled back to retest that key resistance levels as we often see so a move over 10518 would probably be the point of interest with a possible move upwards towards that 106 level that I've just marked on the chart there. On the ASX, TWE are undoubtedly an outperformer. They uh, released good earnings yesterday. We saw it continue up. I put it on the weekly chart just so you can see context. And you can see this level at around about 13.15 tested back in August last year as well as July this year. And now we've moved above that with some significance. If we just take this back even further, uh, plenty of gaps to fill this was actually an earnings drop if we looked at the daily chart you'd see that in some more detail so uh, possibly a move up as high as $16 which is significant although we may get a pause around this $14.50 level but certainly want to keep an eye on you can see that on the daily chart we're trading in just about in the top third of the candle today trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now